everyone, this is Becca. So today I'm going to share with you a bunch of small embellishments that I have made using the Bloom Collection by Maggie Holmes. Um, I don't have a ton of embellishments or anything from this collection, and I've been loving Maggie Holmes lately, so I thought it would be fun to make a bunch of embellishments using this collection. Um, just to iterate to you guys these are not my own ideas none of these are i will try to link the videos below and mention them as i go some of them i don't remember but i will link them below on where i got the inspiration for these embellishments that i did make um some of them i've seen at some point in my craft time crafting and i don't remember where i saw them but a lot of them um i do have a reference for so the first thing I made were these little um, bows using a die that I got off of AliExpress and there's actually a couple styles of bows here. So there's this like double layered one and then there's just this small one. So I used a lot of the papers from this collection but then I used just complementing papers as well and then I used like this faux leather but my die cutting machine, I need to get some shims for it because it did not really like cutting this faux leather. So that's why I only have one of those. So these are all the little bows I've made. And some of them were double sided so you could see the papers kind of peeking through there. And I just added gems to most of these. Looks like all of them except for the faux leather one. So those are the bows that I made. And I apologize, none of these are packaged up cute, but they will be soon so I can share them with some of my friends. Let's see. So a lot of these projects were inspired by Tony Craft Purge. She had a whole embellishment series a while back um, where she worked with Maggie Holmes. So that's where I got a lot of my inspiration. So these were definitely inspired by her after I made these ones. I ordered the die off of AliExpress, so this is actually like a two by, uh, maybe two and a half inch square that you fold up to make like look like a little envelope, but there's also a die that will do that for you, so I ordered that just to speed up the process. So this is what they look like, and I'm so excited. To share some of these embellishments and hopefully get some back in swaps. So these are the little envelopes that I made. Next I made these pinwheels. Um, these were also inspired by Craft Purge. So she has a tutorial on how to make these in the mini envelopes. Um, some of these papers I was lucky and I had the 12 by 12s. So they were double sided, but as you can see, some of them weren't, which makes them a little bit less cute. And Tony actually had hers on like little picks, but at the time I made these, I didn't really have anything to use for that. So I just left them as like flat stemless pinwheels. I don't know. I think they're still cute though. So these are like little, um, just banners, I suppose. They're made with tissue paper. I found a tutorial for these on YouTube, so I will link the channel below that I watched to get the inspiration for these. And my tissue paper has kind of gone wonky on most of them. Um, but a lot of these, I just use my own little heart shape punch and scraps to make these with. But then I did also stick some like die cut butterflies on here as well. And I used a wood veneer on this one. And these don't have like any adhesive on the back. I've, I'm not sure how I'm going to package them up yet. So we'll see how I do that. These I don't remember if I got inspiration from in a particular spot. I mean they're pretty self-explanatory. They're just hearts that I cut out with a heart punch that I have. Um, it's actually right here. It is this one by EK Tools. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. So you can cut out just the biggest heart shape uh, using this guy right here. Or you could cut out a bunch of outlines of hearts. So I love this punch. It's very versatile. So 
I used some washi on this. I used some stickers from the Maggie Home sticker book. So those are the little um, hearts. And then these I also found on a tutorial on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have seen, but there's like, um, I don't remember what collection, but Maggie Holmes has like these little banners made out of ribbon, I believe, or fabric, but I just made them out of paper. So this is what they turned out like. So I got those ones, and then I got this one, and that one. And these two. So I just use a bunch of enamel dots and paper scraps. So this is a great way to use up your scraps. And then I have two more sets. So I made these like circle, punched circle embellishment clusters. Um, I think I received some of these quite a while ago from one of my old pen pals. So that is where I got the idea for these. I just love these. So I used just a mix of die cut shapes. I used my scraps. I used gems. I used some of the stickers from the sticker book. I do have some of the stickers from the Bloom collection, but not very many. So I used the puffy stickers on these. I just love how, uh, so you outline this with pen and then you make the little stitching make it look like you sewed it even when you didn't. I have a sewing machine and I like using it but sometimes it's just kind of a pain so I don't use it all the time. So that is those. And last but not least I just made a few of these little banner. So these are flags. Um, Tony Craft Purge has a video on how to make these. I'm trying to think if anyone else has a video on how to make the vertical style ones. Um, I'm sure there's other people out there, but her, her videos are the ones I watched for these. So you can like cut the edges all different and kind of offset everything. So I only made two of those. And then Ara at the Paper Treasury has a video on making these little banners. And I absolutely love these. I'm totally going to make more of these with other collections. So I also pulled some buttons out of my stash for these. So that is everything, you guys. Um, if you have embellishment videos that you think I would like to watch and get inspired by, I would love it if you left a comment below so I could see. Um, and if there's any embellishments that you want me to show you how I made, even though I'm going to put as many references as I can, just let me know that as well. So have a good day, guys. Bye.